Here's the idea. Fill this baby up and then some. The 16th annual Fill the Bowl has a great day weather-wise. Couldn't ask for better atmosphere. It's Harvard and Yale. I think they're going to come in with a pretty big haul. Volunteers came early to prepare, and they were hustling. Three hours before kickoff, the donations already pouring in. People bringing a turkey or 10 non-perishable food items to the Connecticut Food Bank. They got two game tickets. Keep in mind, a capacity crowd was building. We try to make three or four games. We always make uh, the uh, game near uh, Thanksgiving, and we do bring donations in because it's, uh, it's tough out there this year. Yale and Harvard, known as the game. The surroundings suggest plenty of celebration. However, a charitable attitude is wonderful to have and to share. I found one gentleman who was doubling up on his contributions. Every year we donate, yes. And I already have tickets. I got two extras. I'm going to probably just go give them away. Uh, I already have my tickets. So you're very charitable. You're giving food and tickets. It is a season. You have to help out when you can, yes. Why do you keep coming back? Uh, well, first of all, we like Yale football. Secondly, it's, it's a great way to give back to the community and help people to have a better holiday. And we're talking a lot of people who benefit from the food bank. Last year, more than 24,000 turkeys were donated. Those birds will feed many throughout the state. The food will primarily be going to food pantries, the places that give people bags of food to take home that will give them uh, turkey and food. And there are some 300 such programs across the state that will be getting this food too. And you saw those campus police officers with the boxes. They were donating 20 turkeys to the food drive. Now that's what I call having someone's back. On the scene at the Yale Bowl, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.